everyone, I'm Ash Carlson, and joining me today, some of my faves. We've got our in-house talent, Denny Directo That's here. Me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then our special guest, I'm so excited, star of Love, Simon, Keenan Lonsdale. Woo, yes! Yes! Oh, you're so excited. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're just going to discuss the movie, pick Keenan's brain, talk about everything. My name's Simon. I'm just like you. Except I have one huge ass secret. Nobody knows I'm gay. <sighs> There's, there's so many beautiful um, LGBT stories that mm -hmm. have been made um, and we've heard a lot about the heartbreak and um, the suffering. Absolutely. Um, because it's very, very real. Um, and I just think it's important and it's what I try to express. I guess it's why I wear a lot of colors. I love it. <laughs> but like life is, life can be really like incredible. And when you are yourself, you wouldn't, we didn't have to waste all of that time like trying to be something else. Like that's something worth celebrating and like for me I don't wear, and the movie isn't just um, bubbly and happy because everything's great and groovy. It's like it's a celebration because you've been through that like journey. You've been through those hardships, you've been through all that stuff, like you've gone through enough pain. You can smile now, you yeah. can breathe, you can exhale like they say. So I think that was an important thing for, for Greg to have audiences feel. I'm done living in a world where I don't get to be who I am. I deserve a great love story. When did you actually shoot this film? Like a year ago. Okay. Probably today we were still filming like 12 months ago. So, yeah. so you wrote this post where you came out in, I think it was May 2017. Mm -hmm. Did this film like have any impact on that, on your decision to do that? Yeah, it did. Because um, I wasn't actually out to my cast like the whole of filming until the rap party. Wow. Yeah. And I... Like I'd been out to friends and I was out to like the cast of Flash and everything, but I just, I always had this thing wherever I met new people, I always like suddenly like went back into the closet. Like it always felt like such a big deal to have to reveal this thing. And, um, and I, I realized like I didn't say it on the first day that I met them and then I'd made such good friends with them, I felt like I was like lying to them. So then I just was so disappointed in myself. And then one of my friends was like, well, don't be disappointed. Just like recognize that, hey, isn't it interesting that you're, you're filming this movie about a, a gay love story where everyone is supportive. The director is gay. He has his family with him. Everyone's here. It's a loving environment and you're still not comfortable. Like, what is it that you have to figure out? Mm -hmm. And so, um, and I told the cast like on rap night and it was awesome. It was chill. It was like, no, it was no big deal, of course. And, uh, and then I think I just started to just reflect, which I'd obviously done for a while, but it just, it was, a, it was sort of a final push. It made me realize that I was the only one in control of like how I saw myself mm -hmm. um, and the fear that I took with me when I walked into a new situation or a new job. And it just like, I, I felt like the characters were progressing more than I was. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and so I felt like a bit of a fraud. Um, that you're so used to living other people's lives as an actor, you know. So you're, yeah. you know, it's like you're, uh, you're multiple identities yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to confront your own. Well, one hundred percent. I think you spend. I, <clears throat> I would get like pretty frustrated because like you spend so much time on these other characters, mm -hmm. and after a while you're like, I don't spend any time on me. I don't know how I dress. I don't know how I like talk. I don't know how I. You know, I don't even speak in my normal accent. <laughs> you <laughs> right, know, in right. general, yeah, right. You know, for work. So it's just like after a while, I started to really like, I guess, almost force myself to be myself, yeah. um, which then resulted in me like starting to really like that guy that I was. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, then I just felt like really excited, I guess, and um, open about the idea of just being me for good. I'm curious, how liberating was that for you when you finally like sent that post out into the world? It was so weird because as much as I'd been thinking about it for so long, like when I wrote the post, I, I didn't know I was going to write a post and like put it online. Mm -hmm. So I actually wrote it in five minutes and at like 2 a.m. or I, I don't know, and then wow. picked the picture and like, so within five minutes, the whole thing was out there. Wow. And then it was like I was a robot, like I didn't actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So then it was out there and I was like, oh, well, I guess that's done. <laughs> like, cool. Um, and it wasn't until like my friends and my publicist called me and they were like, this is awesome. Just letting you know, people are going to ask you about it. And I was like, oh, I don't want anyone to ask me about it. They're like, well, they, they might. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so that's when I realized like I had to um, also come to terms with the fact that it was going to be a topic of discussion and 
Um, and now I'm so comfortable talking about it because, like, it's it's nothing to. I, I don't know. I let it go, so it just it feels like Absolutely. very easy to discuss. And thankfully, there's parallels with this movie and your story. You yeah. Know? So it makes sense to kind of share that. There's a lot of people yeah. who are out there struggling too, and that's what I love so much about this movie. Is right. that like. Mm -hmm. I didn't have this this movie when I was coming out in high school, you know, mm -hmm. I this is like the gay pretty in pink the gay never been kissed I've always wanted, you know, so mm -hmm. a lot of people are gonna watch this movie and wa and follow Simon's story follow your story and really, you know Identify with it. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. special. I also think like um, When you're in the closet like you get used to seeing all these love stories that you feel like they're talking to you because yeah They they are it's still about love, mm -hmm. but then like once, once I saw Love, Simon, um, and you actually, you know, you're, you're, it's a love story f about a guy for another guy. Mm -hmm. And it really hits home in a place that is really unexpected. Absolutely. I think like, um, and that's why they say representation matters, but it really does. Like it's, it's Absolutely. and I didn't, it didn't hit me as much until I actually saw the film and I was like, whoa. That, feels like they're talking to me. <laughs> okay, well, I want to get more into the spoilers of the movie. So you guys go see Love, Simon out March 16th, and then we'll do another video where we'll get into all the details of the movie because there's a lot of things. So come on back. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>